You know, there is another huge event before we get to the Oscars and Cameron Super Bowl 50. That's is this right. Sunday That's on CBS. right. The countdown is underway, man. I am psyched. Kevin Frazier is at Super Bowl Party Central with our special correspondent, actress Cassidy Gifford, daughter of Kathy Lee and Frank Gifford. Cassidy, welcome to our ET team. Thanks, Cameron. I can't tell you how excited I am to be here in San Francisco with Kevin. We are having a blast, Cameron, and welcome to our home away from home, the Visa Everywhere Lounge. Now, here's the thing about Cassidy. She really is a Super Bowl veteran because her father, of course, one of the greatest players in the history of the NFL and a Hall of Fame broadcaster, but her mom sang the national anthem in 1995 at the Super Bowl. Do you remember that? Well, that is true, but no, I don't remember it, Kevin, could seeing as I was two years old in 1995 when Good that happened. Okay. But... <laughs> that is special, and so is the fact that her dad broadcast the very first Super Bowl. So it was really a full circle moment when Cassidy got to sit down with the guys from CBS who are broadcasting Super Bowl 50. Dad was a great man. Thank I loved him. Much. Saw him all the time, but you don't look like him. Thank you. Really? All right. Okay. No. Phil, like Frank, transitioned from the field to the broadcast booth. When he would prepare back in the day, you know, it would be so different. He would say it was something like kind of preparing for an exam when he would try to equate it for me. For you, how is it? I think that's a little bit of it. I, I, I love the fact that, you know, preparing and making sure I know everything I can about the players as far as the, what they do on the of field. Course. CBS analyst Tony Gonzalez and Boomer Esiason also followed Frank's career path. This great league that we have been a part of for many, many years was built on the back of people like your dad. The last couple of years of my dad's life that I remember sitting and watching with him and he'd be like, I'm just so happy that those guys are up there now. He's like, they are doing so much better than I could have done. This game has everybody talking about the matchup between 39-year-old Peyton Manning of the Broncos and 26-year-old Cam Newton of the Panthers. Peyton Manning's Frank Sinatra. Yeah. Uh, Cam Newton is Jay Z. Yeah, you know, like Huge just totally difference. different styles. <laughs> I actually have a pair of pants similar to that. From back in the day. Oh yeah, he borrowed them from you. Me... And Cassidy got the CBS Sports chairman to break some news. We <laughs> announced today um, that we are renewing Thursday Night Football on CBS. And people may not know that Sean's father was legendary ABC broadcaster Jim McKay, who worked with Frank Gifford for decades. It's ironic that um, his offspring and and, uh, and yeah. Frank's offspring get to sit here and do an interview. So there's. Something very serendipitous about Absolutely that. Absolutely no, it's very exciting. Great stuff. Um, how was that for you? It was pretty surreal, Kevin. Honestly, to talk to these guys and sit down, who my dad had nothing but the utmost respect for, and it was pretty surreal. Yeah, that is great. Speaking of surreal, oh, we are headed to NFL Media Day, and there is nothing crazier than Media Day at the Super Bowl. Are you ready for this? <laughs> no, I keep hearing it's pretty crazy. Oh, I hope your mom forgives us. And by the way, I want to remind everybody out there, starting tonight, you can check out ET at the Big Game on Pop. It's our Super Bowl special. Check your local listings. All right, Cassidy, let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> Cameron and Nancy, back to you. <laughs> oh, good luck to those two. It's Thank you very much, Kevin and Cassidy. I mean, Media Day is a madhouse. Oh,